In the wake of Batman's death in R.I.P. and Final Crisis, Gotham has descended into chaos. The police and Gotham's heroes struggle to bring order back to Gotham. Robin and Squire hunt down criminals into an abandoned hospital and are attacked by the same criminals they're chasing down. However, someone someone calling themselves Batman manages to subdue them. Robin and Squire then go off to join Nightwing and the other heroes. Elsewhere, a bus transporting Gotham villains from Blackgate, Arkham, is stopped. It's revealed that Black Mask has stopped the bus and that he has planted a device into all the villains. And it says that he will kill them if they don't do what, what he tells them. Black Mask then blows up Arkham Asylum. In the Batcave, Nightwing and Robin discuss someone taking up the mantle of Batman, with both Alfred and Robin saying that Gotham needs the Batman. However, Nightwing believes that Bruce should be the only Batman. Robin then goes off to find the fake Batman and takes a Bat costume. Nightwing goes to meet Commissioner Gordon, learning of the escaped Gotham villains. Damien Wayne also arrives into Gotham, driving a Batmobile. He tags along a random chick from Gotham. Oracle takes over the, the control of the Batmobile and it ejects the, the young woman from the Batmobile. How the Killer Croc then attacks Damien. N Nightwing arrives just in time to save Damien, H however crashes into a wall. This is when, when a new militarized Batman shows up and begins killing all of Black Mask's goons. Two-Face and the Penguin attempt to work out who has been stealing the Two-Face's assets, each deciding to up their game against one another. Damien and Nightwing confront the militarized Batman, revealing re revealed to be Jason Todd. He shoots Damien and escapes with Nightwing declaring that he will deal with Jason. Black Mask begins preparing his attack on Gotham, whilst Robin discovers Jason's lair, his own personal Batcave. R Robin accidentally trips a wire and begins to fall, however Catwoman saves him. Nightwing then discovers that Robin has gone up after Jason. Elsewhere, Commissioner Gordon and new DA attempt to work out who is behind the attacks on Two-Face and Penguin. They are attacked by Black Mask men, and the city is, is lit up. Catwoman and Robin fight Jason, who overpowers and defeats Catwoman, and taunts Robin. This is when Jason defeats Robin. Nightwing goes after Robin as the military descend on Gotham City. Damien wakes up from his injuries and Alfred gives him a new Robin suit to, to join the battle. Two-Face deserts Gotham as Penguin is arrested by the military. N Nightwing faces Jason. But who will win, and who will take over the mantle of Batman? In the backup issues, we see how G Gotham's absent Batman and the rise of another affects the, the city, whilst a group prepare to attend a party. So, Battle of the Cowl, um, I felt was a little short. Um, I felt like, um, this, like, the Battle of the Cowl story needed to be a bit longer. 
Um, there's only about three stories being told here. And then again, the rest of it is just back issues. Um, and I said it in Whatever Happened to the Cake Crusader, and I'm saying it again now. The backup features were not very good. Um, they were confusing at times, and again, did nothing to talk about what was happening in the book. Which, in my opinion, was so pointless. Um, the book, the book shows the, the perspective of the three different Robins that Bruce has had. Um, and I really, really liked having these perspectives. And um, sort of, we get a perspective of Nightwing, we get a perspective of Tim Grayson. Tim Grayson. We get a perspective of Tim, and we get a perspective on with Jason Todd. And what I really, really liked about this was how these three different perspectives sort of diff, sort of said something about their mentor and about the cowl in general. Sort of, Tim really, really believes that there should be a, a Batman. Um, and that, and that, the, and that Gotham has to have a, a Batman. And that really does continue with the theme that, um, that the stories at this point were trying to tell. And they were saying, Gotham needs a Batman. And that without Batman, Gotham just descends in into chaos. Um, Jason Todd's view is the extreme view of Batman. Um, he takes the battle of, he takes the cowl and it takes it to the extreme. Like, like, like Jason Todd in this story is basically crazy. Um, he's violent, he's, he's really out to, to create a darker Batman. And then you have Nightwing, who, who doesn't believe that, that Batman, like, like, Nightwing believes that Batman should be Bruce's thing. That Bruce is the only one that can be Batman. And I like the ideas of these three different perspectives. And Jason Todd was really good. Um, like, he was really, really crazy. And the artwork as well in this, in this book was really, really good. And now we get to the downer side. Um, the ending was really, really rushed. Um, and the ending was really anti... anti... anti-climactic. Um, it just, it wasn't a strong ending. And the whole gang war ends really abruptly. Like, like you, like you, you are reading and you expect that, oh, well, the gang war is still continuing. And then suddenly, in, in like a blink of an eye, it's over and, and sort of the, the war between, um, Two-Face and the Penguin has ended. Um, I really didn't like that. Um, I think... I think had the issues been longer, I think the whole gang war could have properly played out and and given a good payoff. Um, because it wasn't paid off very well. And um, I really think the whole point of Battle of the Cowl was just to set up what Tony Daniels was doing in his Batman run. Um, like, he sets up Black Mask in this story, um, 
he sets up stuff with Vicky Vale. Um, but it just it wasn't a good book um to reread. And Damien Wayne returns as well. Um but that's really all a setup for what Grant Morrison was doing with Batman and Robin. And again the backup issues were kind of pointless. They were just focusing on the idea of redemption and the need for a Batman. Well, we kind of already have had those stories. Um, I felt like you could have done something more with showing us um, what Gotham looks like without a Batman. I think that would have been a better story. So, uh, yeah, I'm afraid I'm giving this story about a 2.5 out of 5. It's a good story, it's just, it's rushed in, it's rushed and it needs longer issues to retell its story. Um, so I'm Robin Arts one here. Um, do stay tuned for more, because I do have more Batman. Uh, so I'm Robin Arts one here, and I shall see you all later for another comic book review. Bye.